Okay, this is a beginner's tutorial um, on how to animate a character right away without knowing anything about Anime Studio. Uh, this is the start screen when you open it up. Um, this is uh, the icon you want to click on. We're going to just draw shapes. Um, and once you click on that, you see the, all these shapes that pop up here. Um, and I'm going to use circles. This is the very first thing I did when I uh, used Anime Studio, and I just I thought it was amazing. Um, I'm going to draw a real simple character out of circles. Nothing fancy. I'm just left clicking and dragging on uh, on the canvas. The canvas is your work area. Um, and you uh, have to any artwork that you're making, you need to be on frame zero, which is what it starts on. But it's something that I didn't know when I started using this program. And if you make changes on your character within the timeline, um, it can mess your animation up. So that's really important to know um, to make everything on frame zero. And what I'm going to do now is got this little dude going on here. Over here is, is what's called the layers palette. Um, clicking this icon will create a new layer, and I want to create a bone layer. Bones are the way that Anime Studio controls um, a character's movements, or influences a character's movements, I should say. Um, clicking on layer one, which is where we've made our artwork, I'm going to left click drag it up into the bone layer. Oops. Left click, drag it up. Now it moved over to the right slightly. That means it's connected to the bone layer. Um, Clicking on the bone layer, uh, now I'm going to add bones. Um, I'm going to add a pivot bone here because um, if you don't, oops, your uh, character won't bend right. Every bone that you draw is actually linked to the last one you, you've drawn, unless you uh, reselect or deselect a bone. By s what I mean is, um, all of these that I've just drawn are connected. If I click on this link or this chain, you can see these are uh, all linked together. And I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to hit B to select this pivot bone, or actually this waist bone. And then I'm going to hit this bone with a plus tool and draw legs. I'm going to hit B again, select the pivot bone. And then hit the uh, Add Bones tool again, draw arms, hit B again. Now I'm just going to hit A. It's the shortcut for adding bones. And hit B again, torso. And now you can see how all of these bones are linked. All of them go back to the pivot bone. So now that we have it rigged, um, we are going to look at how um, they're bound to the artwork. So Anime Studios defaulted to flexible binding, and that means that this, uh, the bones have an area of influence, which is this, um, this green and red circles around the character. That just means um, when you bend the character, the um, radius around it actually is affecting some of the uh, artwork that's around it, even though it's not directly over it. So you can see when I bend his arm, he uh, actually his head moves a little bit. If I kick, make him kick, he uh, his leg kind of moves, and that's because the area of influence is kind of big. So what you can do is with the um, bone strength selected, do command A, that selects all of the uh, uh, region of influence and you can left click um, and drag left or right to change how strong that influence is. If I make it smaller, it doesn't affect as much of the artwork. And in part two I'll show you how to animate the character.